if you've been following my channel, you know I've been doing a 15-inch series lately on the Coffee Lake processors, and I wanted to find out which is the best 15-inch ultra portable out there right now. I took a look at the HP Spectre X360, the 15T, with that all-new gem cut design. I also took a look at the ThinkPad X1 Extreme from Lenovo. Now to finally round it out, I took delivery of the Dell XPS 15. This has the Coffee Lake processor. This has the GTX 1050 Ti with Max-Q design. And I was looking forward to putting it through its paces. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my unboxing and review of the Dell XPS 15, coming up. Now, I recently unboxed and reviewed the all-new Dell XPS 13, one of my favorite 13-inch laptops. If you haven't done so, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, as I do in all my videos, let's talk pricing. Now, over at Dell.com, starting price $999 nets you a Core i5 1080p display. I'm not crazy about that model. I would go with the sweet spot. That's the one I went with. You're getting the Core i7 Coffee Lake processor with the NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti with Max-Q design, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and of course, 512 gigabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. Now the fully decked out model is the Core i9 with two terabytes of SSD storage, 32 gigs of RAM. You're looking at a whopping $3,000 plus. And to me, that's not really worth it simply because the thermals aren't there. It just it gets too hot. It just can't handle it in terms of the chassis with such a powerful processor. It just will thermal throttle. I would stay away from that in my opinion, of course. Now, before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. You're looking at a 15.6 inch display. You can get it either as a full HD resolution or do what I did, get it with the 4K UHD resolution. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now you can get it with up to eighth generation Core i9 processor. That's the one I stayed away from due to thermal issues. We'll get to that in a little bit. So I went with the Core i7 and I'm very happy I did. Now it also comes with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti with Max-Q design. We'll get to that also. You can get it with up to 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. You can also get it with up to two terabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. And there are two battery options as well, a 56 watt hour battery or the really robust 97 watt hour battery. And it comes in a very thin and light package. The full HD version is at 4.26 pounds of 1.93 kilograms, and the 4K version is 4.6 pounds of 2.08 kilograms. But that's enough with the specs. Let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now, I got my unit from Best Buy. It was an open box, so I got a great deal. Now, you get your extension cord as well as your power adapter. It's 130 watts and has a barrel pin connector, but you could also charge via the Thunderbolt 3 port in case you were wondering. Now, here's the unit itself, and we've seen this design before. We'll get to that in a moment. You get some documentation, some warranty information. Now, this is a very premium high-end device, and we know this design from years past, and it's due for a refresh, that's for sure, but it's still very premium nonetheless. Now, when it comes to the ports, you won't be disappointed. I'm glad to see a full-size SD card slot, a USB-A port, and of course, your battery indicator light letting you know how much charge you have left. On the other side, you get a power port, a USB-A port, a HDMI port, a Thunderbolt 3 port, and of course, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. The Dell XPS 15 comes with Windows 10 Home, and I know for a lot of you that's perfectly fine, but there are some people in my audience I know for a fact will need Windows 10 Pro. And if you want to do it over at Dell.com, it's a $60 premium. That's way too expensive in my opinion. Instead, why not check out today's sponsor, LVLGo.com, for some great discounts on Windows 10 Pro. Today's video is brought to you by LVL Go, your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And they all come in at a fantastic price. And I have some even better news. I used to give a 21% discount code for the Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Forget that. It's now 25% off, even better. Well, what about Microsoft Office? You need that as well? Well, no problem. I got you covered. 18% off with my special discount code. Ordering is easy and safe. Head on over to LVLGo.com for these great savings and remember to use my discount codes and tell them Andrew sent you. 
but without a doubt, the star of this show has to be its 15.6 inch Infinity Edge Touch display. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a Dell Cinema display, giving you that excellent dynamic range for watching movies. Now, this is a 16 to nine aspect ratio, excellent for consuming media such as Netflix and YouTube. But if you're more into productivity, I think I prefer, of course, the three to two aspect ratio we see with something like the Surface Book 2. But don't get me wrong, this display is very stunning with excellent colors and it covers the color gamut it really well. At 164% sRGB, this is a perfect choice for creative professionals who use Photoshop, Lightroom, and of course do 4K video editing. This display will get the job done, that's for sure. You're looking at some really deep black, some very vibrant colors, and it really is a bright display as well. With an average brightness of 371 nits, this is a perfect choice for both indoor and outdoor use. I had no issues with it. It's a nice and bright display the way I like it. And if you go with the full HD model, even brighter at 447 nits, which is truly amazing. And I love the Infinity Edge display with those really small bezels. You gotta love it. Unfortunately, though, the webcam is in the wrong place. On the bottom, an up-your-nose webcam is what you're gonna get. But even with the poor placement of the webcam, this is still one of the best displays out there. It is drop-dead gorgeous, and I absolutely love it. So to me, this is the biggest problem of the Dell XPS 15. The placement of the webcam as you can see it is not very good it's up your nose and something they corrected with the new dell xps 13 if you haven't done so check out my review of it uh, one of the best ultra portables you can get right now at 13 inches it really is fantastic it's almost near perfect in a way but this is again the biggest problem of the dell xps 15. now for some they don't really do a lot of video conferencing they don't do a lot of skype it's not going to be an issue but for those who do this is definitely an issue that's for sure let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Now that camera is not Windows Hello compatible, but there is the power button which doubles as a fingerprint scanner which worked well and registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. Great for using with Windows Hello for login. Now when it comes to the keyboard, not everybody's a big fan. I actually like it. At 0.7 millimeters of key travel, it's certainly on the shallow side, that's for sure. But I didn't feel like my fingers were bottoming out. I liked it 70 grams of actuation. I thought it worked well. And I thought the multi-stage backlight worked really well, allowing me to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. I absolutely love that. I know some find it too shallow. I actually like it. Now when it comes to the touchpad, I'm glad to see they use precision drivers. I thought it was very responsive. I thought the sizing was good. I thought two finger scrolling was buttery smooth and all the Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. I'm a big fan. Okay, let's talk performance. For a relatively small 15 inch laptop, this certainly packs a punch and that's thanks to that Coffee Lake processor, the Core i7-8750H. And it's also definitely aided by the fact that it does have a dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti with Max-Q design. Now my unit also has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, but you can configure it up to 32 gigabytes of RAM if you so choose. This is a great laptop choice if you want to do productivity tests such as Microsoft Office, web browsing, email, everything handled with a breeze. That's thanks to that Coffee Lake processor. Photoshop, Lightroom, 4K video editing, all can be done with this laptop, did very well. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, you will have to turn down some of the settings on some of the newer AAA titles, but of course, you know that this is not a dedicated gaming laptop. There are better choices out there if that's what you're after, but if you want a really good all-around laptop, you can definitely do some gaming. You can play the older titles on the higher settings, and some of the newer titles, you'll have to lower the settings as indicated by these frame rates as you see here. And when it comes to the heat management, I thought it did a good job. Thermals were actually pretty good. As you can see, the stress on the top didn't get overly hot. And when under Witcher 3 test on the bottom, it didn't get overly hot either. Stayed relatively cool, and I thought they did a good job. Now, as I stated earlier on, there is a Core i9 available for the Dell XPS 15. That's a very expensive proposition. And the reason I would stay away from it is not really because of the price, but because of the thermals. I think the thermals shown in other videos, other reviewers who have tested it out, I have not. They showed that it does get very hot. There will be a lot of thermal throttling and the chassis just can't handle the power and therefore it will have diminished performance. To me, the sweet spot is that Core i7 model. That's the one I think you should go with. Now getting inside the XPS 15 is relatively easy. Just remove the T5 Torx screws and don't forget to lift the service tag and remove the two screws there as well. 
Now, once inside, as you can see, it has two fans and it also has the 97 watt hour battery. It's a relatively large battery. We'll go over battery life in just a moment. And you see the two speakers on the bottom as well. Now, lifting the tape here, you shows the SSD. And of course, there are your RAM slots. If you want to swap that out, you can. And here's the Wi-Fi card. You could swap that out as well. And speaking of the SSD, very good reads and writes, as you can see here on the Crystal Disk Mark results. Okay, let's talk battery life. And as I stated, a 97 watt hour battery, that's about the most you can get to get on an airline. Dell claims up to 20 hours. I didn't get 20 hours, of course, on that 4K model. I got eight hours and 28 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. The full HD model did very well, 11 hours and 55 minutes. If you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a very robust 130 watt power adapter and it charges to full charge two hours and 30 minutes. And that's pretty good considering that 97 watt hour battery when it comes to the audio i thought the speakers were actually pretty good they get loud there's a hint of bass i actually was impressed with it now let's give it a listen So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the Dell XPS 15 9570? This is an excellent choice for that 15 inch laptop category, especially if you want something thin and light. It's got a stunning 4K display, blazingly fast performance, great battery life, good port selection. Love the fact that shoes are upgradable and the thermals were very good. Now, as far as bad things are concerned, of course, the biggest negative will be that awkward placement of the webcam. Other than that, I don't see any deal breakers on this. This is an excellent choice and I'm looking forward to the refresh fresh later this year. I'm going to give it a score of 94%, making the Dell XPS 15 an excellent choice, making it worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Dell XPS 15? Now, I'm anticipating a refresh this year, and I can't wait to get that in the studio. But this you can get on sale right now. I'll put the links for the latest pricing in the description of this video. This, to me, is a great buy. You're getting that Coffee Lake processor. You're getting excellent performance. You're getting that Infinity Edge display. The 4K display on this is absolutely stunning. I love the battery life. I love the... Everything about this, as far as the thin and light chassis, considering the power, the horsepower that this provides, everything you'd want in a 15 inch laptop. This is the tried and true design. Now, does, do they need a radical redesign? The thing I would change on this absolutely is to put the placement of the webcam above the display like they did with the new Dell XPS 13 we just took a look at. It, it solved the big problem in my opinion. This unfortunately still has that up your nose webcam below the display. Hopefully they'll change that this year when they release the new model. But everything is really good on this. I have no complaints. This is one of my favorite 15 15 inch laptops. This compares favorably with the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme, the HP Spectre X360 15T. This is right there up there with them all. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.